Hi, my name is Mike Scott, Industrial Product Manager for the Modal Shop. And in today's video, I'd like to announce the release of firmware 5.2.3 for our model 9110D portable vibration calibrator, supporting the calibration of both single-ended and differential charge mode accelerometers. Also in this video, we'll detail our new supplied accessories for the model 9110D that supports this application. And lastly, we'll detail a new product which is our high temp charge mode accelerometer calibration accessory kit, long name. Uh, but this kit supports the calibration of differential charge mode sensors. Now, why would you want to calibrate these sensors? Well, these are some of the most uh, important sensors in the marketplace because they're found on jet engines and gas turbines. And these sensors take a beating, more than most. Besides that, they're key to fleet readiness as an amplified signal from the sensor can ground an aircraft inadvertently. And they're key to turbine readiness as well because a false trip from a gas turbine is quite costly, quite expensive in downtime, and if it occurs during startup, it can be very expensive as well. So for this reason, it's very important to calibrate these transducers to make sure they're accurate. Also, they're very expensive. So buying replacement transducers on an annual basis can be quite costly. Now let's take a look at the high temp charge mode accelerometer calibration accessory kit that we've just released. The high temp charge mode accelerometer calibration accessories kit includes a 7 16th mini mill two socket mill to BNC plug termination cable. Now this cable will mate to most of the on turbine or on engine high temperature differential charge sensors that are in the market today. It also includes a 10 millivolt per picocoulomb charge amplifier made by PCB Piezotronics with A2LA accredited calibration certificate down to three decimal places, a BNC male to male cable, and a 1032 to BNC jack scope input adapter. Using an external charge amplifier has its advantages. Specifically the one from PCB, as we've mentioned earlier, is calibrated to three decimal places by an A12A accredited process, and it's very easy to have this recalibrated in laboratories around the globe. The Model 9110D portable vibration calibrator is the most accurate portable vibration calibrator on the market, with plus or minus 3% accuracy from 10 Hz to 10 kHz, and plus or minus 5% accuracy from 5 Hz to less than 10 Hz. That calibration is also A12A accredited to the ISO 17025 standard using an accelerometer that's been calibrated on our laser primary calibration station. At any time, users can connect to the monitor reference output on top of the Model 9110D and check for drift. So this further ensures that you're creating good, high quality, accurate calibrations. And that's important because these sensors are very expensive. So if one of them fails, you want to be sure that your calibration results are correct. The 9110D and external charge amplifier give the user flexibility between differential and single-ended charge mode accelerometers. Differential sensors are found on turbines or jet engines and have the two-pin mini-mill connection. Single-ended sensors are more commonly used in research and development applications. The 9110D also includes two mounting pads that are three and four hole mount for high temperature accelerometers commonly known as ARINC mounts. To set up the Model 9110D portable vibration calibrator for charge mode accelerometers, I first want to enter into the test settings menu using the frequency dial and make sure my sensor type is selected as charge. You can see I already had it set as charge, but there are three other available sensor types that I've scrolled through there in this video. Backing out, I can see that my sensitivity is now in picocoulombs per G, but I want to go into the tools menu and program the calibrator for the exact calibrated value of my charge amplifier. So within the options menu, I enter into the charge amp factor menu and I will enter the exact value of my charge amplifier's sensitivity. In my case, it's 10.027 millivolts per picocoulomb. And I use the amplitude and frequency dials to enter that into the menu. Lastly, I'm going to toggle uh, the ICP power on or off for the charge amplifier. In my case, I want to enable it, which is the amplitude dial. But if I was using a different charge amp that didn't require ICP power, I could disable it. From here, I back out into the 
manual calibrator mode and you can see that the sensitivity for my sensor under test is displayed in picocoulombs per G. Some technicians may find it useful to disable the ISP power if they're using an external charge amplifier that's powered with DC voltage, uh, usually anywhere from 18 to 30 volts DC. Also in those industrial applications, you may find that the output of that charge amplifier is AC current, especially if it's a long cable run. Quite often those charge amplifiers can be wired either for AC voltage output or AC current. If it happens to be current, the Model 9110D can also create a calibration certificate for that application where users can leave the charge mode accelerometer connected to the charge amplifier and create a system calibration certificate and see the sensitivity of the system on the display of the 9110D. But that's another video for another time. Calibration certificates are made using the memory inside the device and exporting the data to a Microsoft Excel macro enabled workbook. You can also use that same workbook to program repetitive tests into the shaker and instant pass fail notification after every single test point. No other software is required besides Microsoft Excel. I encourage you to take a look at our website to see other videos on how calcerts are made, how repetitive tests are programmed, and of course, how to check the accuracy of the shaker in the field. Thanks so much for watching.